it's coffee time. I totally forgot that I owned this mug. I got really excited because I have a cupboard where I keep all of my mugs that's about as tall as I am and has like five shelves that are all just full and I need to take a picture of it for you guys sometime or like do a video, a tour, a tour of my mug cabinet. But there is, there's a lot in there. So the ones that are on the bottom shelves, sometimes I just forget that they exist, that they're there at all. But recently I've been seeing them more because Watson's new favorite thing in the world, which I'm sure you can tell I'm delighted with, is that every time I open that cupboard, she goes into the bottom shelf and just like loafs in there on mugs, <laughs> which terrifies me because I'm like, uh, eventually one day she's going to break one and that's going to upset me. But once she's in there, I can't get her out without breaking something. So it's this weird catch 22. So I have to just kind of leave her in there because if she comes out on her own, everything's fine. It looks like there was never a cat in there, but it just drives me nuts because I know that any of those mugs on the bottom there, I would need to clean before I could use. They're not clean anymore. None of the mugs on that bottom shelf are clean anymore. But on the second to bottom shelf was this little beauty, this little, this little mustache mug that I forgot about. I was so jazzed because I knelt down to look at her while she was in there and give her, give her a talking to that she didn't understand. And I saw this one and I was like, yay. I'm also delighted because I finally synced up after taking a long hiatus. I finally synced up the Instagram mug of the day being the same as the mug that I use on coffee time, which some of you are probably thinking, well, yeah, that's, that's obvious, right? That's an obvious thing to do. I agree. I just wasn't doing it. <laughs> so now, now that I've picked up on doing the mug of the day again, it makes the most sense just when I decide that I'm going to do coffee time to take a picture of the mug first and then sit down and do coffee time. And that way it's all synced up. It's all happening together like a big old like a big old family. <sighs> because before the big problem is that I drink coffee in the morning and then assuming that I make coffee time at night, I'll drink coffee at night. But in between, I wash whatever mug I was using. So the mug that I used earlier is now on the drying rack and I forget about it. And then I go in and I grab a different mug from the cupboard. So what kept happening was whatever mug I used in the morning, I would take a picture of. And then for the most part, when I made coffee time, it would be a totally different mug because so many hours had passed and I had already washed the other one. So now I'm like, look, self, <laughs> you need to just take a picture of the mug that you're using before you do the coffee time and then do the coffee time and then it all coheses. There's another reason that I'm delighted today though. I don't know if I even specified that I was delighted today. I'm delighted today. And the reason being <laughs> that apparently we are going to get more rain in the next couple of days than we have had in years, which is kind of crazy. Also kind of terrifying because the drainage system here is really bad. They don't know how to drive in water, guys. No one knows how to drive in water because cars are not made for water. But what I mean is, when I'm in Oregon, everybody's so used to driving in the rain that it's not an issue. And the drainage system on the streets is A+, plus because we're so used to having rain all year. The problem here is we never have rain. So when there is rain, it turns into just standing water if there's too much of it. So there are people hydroplaning all over the place, and there are people going like three miles per hour, and it's just awful. It's awful. So while I will absolutely enjoy the overcast weather and absolutely enjoy the rain, I will not be enjoying driving. I will not enjoy that drive in the morning whatsoever. <laughs> I also saw like two different accidents almost happen today, which was just, man, I'm having a great day, but this morning I was like, calamity is upon us. There are just too many people almost driving into each other. Fortunately, nothing actually happened though. Thank goodness. Everybody walked away perfectly fine, but we all need to drive a little bit better if we're going to have more rain than we've had in years. But it does a, it does a bubba dubba dubs. It does mean that I get to listen to the rain on the windows which is like my favorite thing in the world. So I can't wait for that. Oh, well, maybe I won't though. Cause there's like really tight alleyways. Maybe I won't get any, no. 
look, I'll let you guys know whether or not I wind up with rain on my windows. <laughs> so don't worry. We'll, we'll touch on this again later. But the reason that I'm making this so early, because I am making it early, is because uh, I am going to go over to Jeannie's. I have a list. I have a list of all of these things that I need to get done. And Jeannie has offered to help me. So I'm going to go over to Jeannie's with all my laundry, because <laughs> she has a washer and dryer. So it's very convenient and nice. I'm going to go over there with all my laundry. And she is going to take some of the projects. I'm going to take some of the projects. We're going to get everything done. And I'm going to do all my laundry. And it's going to be an amazing day. But I was like, I wonder how long this is going to take. I should probably make coffee time first. <laughs> because otherwise, it's suddenly going to be like midnight. And I'm going to go, no. Although I do want to make a one cup tonight. So it probably won't take that long to get everything done. But guys, I want to do a one cup of Gogo Nippon, my first trip to Japan. Because I think that game is so silly. It's, oh, maybe it's not anymore. It was 50% off when I bought it. So I was like, oh, gotta purchase this. And I just uploaded the last part of Always Remember Me. It's like officially over. But there might be. I don't want to get you guys excited. But somebody sent me an email saying, hey, you should look in the extras. There's some more stuff in there. And I was like, does that mean more like game stuff? Or does it just mean concept art, right? I don't know, but I'm curious. Like, I wanna know. So I'll have to go look at that. If there's more game stuff, then maybe we'll do that too. And then that'll be the last part. Last part forever. But today should be really productive. I'm excited because I think I'm gonna walk away from today being like, oh, that's so many things off my shoulders. That's so nice. But, you know, we haven't, we haven't started the rain yet, but we've started the overcast. So I'm mentally preparing myself for there to be possible rain and possible crazy drivers later on today. Maybe it's not today. Maybe it starts tomorrow. Or it's, like, supposed to start tomorrow. Look, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I'm not positive. Um, is there really anything else? Not really. We did Manga Pod last night, and it turned out much different than I thought it was going to. Because remember, yesterday I was like, I'm going to go into Manga Pod, and I'm going to be the only one who hates this manga, and that's fine. I'll stick to my guns. And nobody else really liked it. <laughs> I was like, thank God I wasn't the only one. Although, it was only three of us, because Yokorama got sick, and then Jean couldn't do it. So it was only three of us, and there was supposed to be five of us. And with just the three of us, we were just like... <laughs> it was okay, I guess. So that made me feel less like I'm a crazy person. But I also feel like maybe we would have had some differing opinions if we had all five of us. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe everybody would have been like, this sucks, but... But <laughs> the excuse that I keep hearing is it gets really good after about chapter 100. I don't want to deal with 100 chapters before something starts to get good. Like, Why? I already, for the most part, in almost every anime or manga, have to deal with, you know, a episode, maybe two episodes before an anime gets better, or like maybe 10 chapters before a manga starts to get interesting. A hundred chapters? Wrong. No. A person shouldn't have to go through a hundred chapters to get to something good. That doesn't make any sense to me. And now there are planes. I've been a little irritable today. <laughs> I feel really bad. Like, all of the dogs, I've specified before that this complex is just filled with dogs. All of the dogs earlier were all barking for like 15 minutes. And I was like, oh, like, what on earth could you be barking at? I don't know. Ruby and I, Ruby downstairs, she and I understand each other at this point. I get that she's just trying to protect her people. If she hears people on the steps, she's like, nope. If she hears my cats running around, nope. She's just trying to, you know, protect everybody. All the other dogs, they were all barking, and I couldn't tell if they were barking at each other. Like, it was the weirdest thing. I was like, stop. And then I put all of my laundry into bags because it couldn't all fit into a hamper. And Watson immediately tore a huge hole in one of the bags. And I was just like, Watson, why do you do this? Oh, God. But it's okay. 
because we're going to get rain and I'm going to get things done. And it's going to be great. So I'm actually going to go and do that. But I hope that you guys had an amazing day and I will talk to you again tomorrow. Okay, bye bye. Mwah.